What kind of knot do you use for tying braided line to a leader? Good morning, guys and girls. Revelation 319, April 9, April 9. Revelation 319. This one's pretty deep right here. I'm reading out of our Catch a Better Life book. You want to get a copy of this book, go over to jimmyhouston.com. I can personalize it and sign it for you if you'd like. Be sure and tell them that when you order. Revelation 319 says, As many as I love, I rebuke and chastise. I heard a turkey gobbling on a mountain across over the way. Did you hear that? Oh, clear across the lake, I heard a turkey gobble. I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, therefore, be zealous and repent. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. That one's pretty deep. Here's what I wrote about that. One of my cardinal rules in getting spouses and kids into fishing is don't gripe at them. Don't gripe at them. Now, that's a rule that most everybody would agree with. But there are certain things that you must lovingly, lovingly drill into their minds, like wearing a life jacket over and over and over. Wear your life jacket. Wear your life jacket. Wear your life jacket. Paying close attention to others when they're casting so they're not going to hook something other than a fish. How we teach, how we correct becomes almost as important as the lesson that we're giving them. Here's the key. Give your total time and attention to them. Do you hear what I'm saying? Don't worry about fishing yourself. Don't worry about catching a fish. Now, I'm not saying that you can't pick up a rod and reel and throw, but make sure that your, your concentration, your total time and effort is on them. Don't criticize. Teach. Don't criticize. Teach. Don't complain. Exhort. The joy of seeing them catch that first fish is worth it all. That joy of seeing them catch that first fish. Now, let me tell you another little secret. It doesn't hurt to pray about catching fish too. And pray that your kids can have a good time. Pray that you will have the patience to not criticize, to not gripe. You know, I got a, a note from one of my great friends the other day, Barry Smith, and, and it, it had a picture of his son catching his first fish. And he said they'd fished down at their dock for two or three days and hadn't caught any at all. And his son said, Dad, can we pray about it? I guess he'd been hearing me talk about praying for fish. He said, Dad, can we pray about it? And that very evening, he caught his first fish. And then the next evening, he caught another one. Barry said he caught the same fish twice. I doubt that that was it. I imagine just two fish about the same size. But so it doesn't hurt to pray. Not necessarily catch a fish, but that's okay. You could do that. I've done it many, many times. But pray that you will have the patience to do what we're talking about here. In today's verse, Jesus was speaking to the church at Laodicea. He called it lukewarm. I sure don't want Jesus to call me a lukewarm Christian. He called that church lukewarm, like bad tasting water. He said they were like bad tasting water. Basically, Jesus was saying that there were no true believers in that church. No true believers in that church. Can I tell you? It's not much different today in many, many churches that we have across America. Jesus is exhorting you and exhorting me to get fired up, to get fired up about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to repent, repent of whatever sins we commit. Here's our tip for today. There's a lot of different knots you can tie. Then one of them is an Alberto knot. An Alberto knot, you can Google that up on YouTube and see, find, show a lot of places how to, how to tie that knot. An Alberto knot is good for tying leader to braid. It might be kind of one of the simplest and one of the easiest. We might do a video on that ourselves. Uh, get Pat down here and we'll get a little time. Uh, but we might, uh, might do some videos on various knots and just kind of sprinkle them in throughout the, throughout the year on YouTube. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Remember, whatever you do today, the day is going to depend on you. It's not going to depend on anybody else. Not going to depend on your circumstances. Not going to depend on whether you win or lose any particular situation. Go out and win the day and you win it with your attitude. You win it because you know you're a child of God. Have a great one. And remember, I sure do love you.